Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Maya Gorbel. I'm coming to you from Millennium Medical and Rehab today. Uh, today I'd like to address with you uh, fall prevention. This is an issue that comes up a lot in the winter time because now that the holidays are here, so is the snow and the ice, which are both hazardous for falling. And especially in the elderly population, this can be a big issue. The CDC estimated 2.8 injuries uh, related to falls in the senior population last year. So as you can see, this is a major issue where uh, prevention really is key. So I'd like to give you about eight to 10 tips today for fall prevention come winter time. So the first tip is just wear comfortable shoes. This is something that is so common sense that I shouldn't have to say. Uh, just wear good, good sneakers with good traction and that way it'll be even harder for you to slip and fall on the ice. Uh, second tip is dress warmly outside because if your muscles are nice and warm, you will be comfortable and you know, you're not as likely to tense up and, and fall. Uh, step three or tip three, be very careful outside when you're getting out of the house or getting out of the car. Make sure both feet are planted firmly on the ground before you're walking and uh, that way you'll be less likely to fall as well. Um, tip number four, take your time. Don't rush when it comes to getting outdoors. You know, you'll get there eventually, but just make sure you get there safely, okay? Uh, tip number five, just pay attention to your surroundings. Make sure you're not walking on, uh, you know, on an icy area. If you are, do so very, very slowly and carefully. Uh, number six, use your assistive devices, whatever it is that the doctor recommended for you, whether it's a straight cane, a walker, a rollator, whatever it is, uh, use it for safety and that'll make a big difference, okay? Um, tip number eight, um, see your physician if you have any, um, you know, to see if you have any issues with uh, your balance. Uh, for example, maybe having a, a test done for vertigo and seeing if that's contributing to any balance issues or if you have an issue in the cervical spine that could be contributing to some balance problems or if you have any nerve uh, issues like a neuropathy which can also be contributing to that. All of those can be addressed by your physician and also if you have the proper um, gait training and balance training with therapy following that, that would be even um, better for you and for your safety outside. Um, you can also have uh, your doctor check you for, uh, for vision because that can be a huge impairment as well. If you're not able to see properly, um, you, won't obvi you obviously won't be able to properly assess where you're going. Okay. Um, lastly, I'd like to give you some tips for the indoors because a lot of falls do take place inside as well. Um, check your house, make sure you don't have any loose carpeting or uh, frayed carpeting which you can trip over. Wear comfortable slippers that you won't you know, trip out of at home. In the bathroom, make sure you have grab bars for when you're coming in and out of the tub or when you're using the toilet. Those simple things like that will really help you. Uh, we are happy to assess any of your any of your needs for balance and gait training to prevent any issues like this going forward. Please call us at 914-472-2700. Again, this is Dr. Gorbel from Millennium Medical Rehab in Scarsdale, New York. We'll see you soon.